I've just received my 240 input socket from, from eBay, only cost £11, um, and with it you get a, a gasket to, to seal it with. I won't be using this, I'll be using sticker flex, but this can be used as a template to cut the hole out in the van. I'll show you now. So I've drawn round the gasket to make a template. I'm just going to thicken the line up. I'm going to just cut just outside the line. I don't want it to be too tight. Then having to file it. So I'm just going to cut just outside that line. <laughs> Alright, now that's installed, it's all secure, it's stuck with sticker flex, it's re really secure, easy to wire up. If you look at it there, you can see that it's just a green and neutral and alive, just like a three pin socket in the house. If you can wire a three pin socket up, you can definitely wire one of these up. If you put green at the top as you're looking at it, and put your brown bottom right, BR brown, BR bottom right. The blue for neutral, BL for blue, BL bottom left, you can't go wrong. It's exactly the same as a three pin plug in the house. Once you've wired that up, it's time to um, fit a consumer unit. Okay, this is a consumer unit. It's £27 from Screwfix Direct. It's a garage consumer unit. It's got a 16 amp and a 6 amp. But I did purchase extra 16 amp for it which I'll replace the 6 amp, or maybe there's a blank there anyhow, so because there's a blank, I'll probably put the 16 amp in there. Uh, these are only about £2.50, so you might as well you might as well buy one of these and have two 16 amps. And uh, once you've fitted your outdoor socket, like so, that's, well, I'll shorten this cable, obviously. That will be going into there, then coming out of there, um, maybe to two junction boxes to two sockets and either junction box to another two sockets or maybe straight to the sockets from there I haven't decided yet but first of all you've got to wire this in so let's open it up inside that's all there is to it neutral live and earth and all you do to fit this I was going to take the 6 amp out and put the 16 in, but what I'll do, I'll just add an extra one because there's a space there for it. Take these two screws out of the bottom, right in there, there's two, a screw there and a screw there, I've chucked them out already. When you take them out, all you have to do, see that spade there, that, that clip, now. Yeah. All you have to do is plug it under there, into the slide it on there first. There's a little button. And there you go. It's locked on. See it locked on? And that spade clip is in there. Now on the back, just tighten the screw up. It's as easy as that. And now you've got an extra extra one in there, an extra 16 amp. That's it, it's tight. That brown links that one, which also links that one, so now you've got three. For the sake of £2.50, you've got 16 amp, 16 amp, and a 6 amp in the middle. As easy as that. All your lives. Okay? Simple as that. Take the stickers out and put it back. There we go. There you go. You want to fasten that up? You've now got three. Just put the screws back in. There we go, and all three.
screw together nice and tight. Nice and tight. 16 amp, 6 amp, 16 amp. All the earths, all the neutrals, all the lives. Alright guys, the next step is from the uh, 240 input that we fitted, um, you've got your three wires, earth, which is a green, live, which is the brown, and neural, which is the blue. So what we're going to do, just go through that hole that we've popped out, and we're going to put the blue in there, in line with that blue, all in line, which is the neutral, the brown, so where the brown is there, in line with that one, it'll go in there, green, we'll go on this bar here at the bottom, and then we'll have wires coming off, neutral, live, and earth, off to our plug sockets. So I'll wire this up and show you what it's like when it's wired up. Right, green is secure. Now the brown and blue are far too long now, so I'm going to have to shorten them. So I think the blue, let's pull that back a bit. There go. The brown are out there. Can't find me pliers, folks, so good old scissors will do. Right, so strip that wire. A good old fashioned way with Stanley. And the blue. That's only going to be short as well. Blue's in, live is in, that's it, so what you've got, your mains coming in, brown going in, neutral, no sorry, live going in, neutral going in, going through the trip switches, then coming out to all these strip switches. So in the top first and everything can come up there now when you're, you're safe. All right guys, for the purpose of the video and for a demonstration, I've hooked neutral up and I've put live into the 16 amp one I've just fitted, the new 16 amp. And I've just wired it to a, a plug and then to me drill. Just to show you it working. First of all, we'll start with them all turned off, which yeah, everything's off. Right, let's plug it all in and see if it's working. The moment of truth, it's all plugged in. We're all on. Here's the drill. Nothing at the moment. Let's flick the switch. I think we'll put this on just for safety's sake. What am I doing wrong? Screws in the way. Oh, oh bollocks. We're on there. We're on there. There we go. So that's how you wire it up. This obviously is only temporary, but I've got electric to the van for now, and this has to be fastened down somewhere. I'm not happy about that. I could cut into the cable. I'm going to have to put something around there, protect the cable, and when I do fit cables, something around there to protect the cables. It's all live at the moment, so I'm going to put the cover on and uh, make it safe. Hi folks, thanks for watching the video, it's all safe, it just needs fastening down and tidying up, which I'm going to do now. At least I've got electric to the van, and I'll run some nice plugs off 
Well, folks, thanks for watching. That's my 240 electrics plumbed in. Uh, I'll even have to run the sockets off it now and secure it down. So, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.